So it is now first thing in the morning. Um, I honestly think that this video has been jinxed because I swear to God, I've done like I've attempted to make it twelve times in the last forty-eight hours, and every time something goes wrong as I'm filming it. So let's hope I get all the way through it this time. Um, first and foremost, so a little while back, Bash showed me this kind of trick, wherein you're essentially switching between pendulum stalls, which hand is doing them, and in the middle it's almost like you're moving a quarter of a pie, right? To this, I have added you to stalls. So you get two horizontal gravity-defying tricks for the price of one. which makes a combo like, say, this look even cooler. Um, yeah, next up. So, I've demonstrated before, I think, this pattern of elliptical caps and this pattern of elliptical caps, which is just split time, same direction. Um, and the idea, of course, behind that is you switch between an anti-spin diagonal segment, linear extension, uh, straight segment, anti-spin diagonal segment, linear extension, uh, straight section anti-spin diagonal section, linear extension normal section, anti-spin diagonal section, and linear extension uh, straight section. So it's defining the diamond and its cross strokes, right? So it's uh, split time same direction, of course, it results in a lot of arm crossing. But um, I've seen a lot of people demonstrate the split time opposites version of this, which I only just got this past week, which <laughs> looks like this. actually got me thinking also based upon a comment that uh, Charlie left on my tech blog last week about plane bending with caps. And the idea of um, what if we exchanged the uh, linear extension section for something that plane bends 180 degrees. So the three ways I've found to do this so far are number one, if you're doing it with a U to stall that goes all the way around. So like this. And that's it. Right. The other is with a float across the middle, which is a lot harder, which looks like this. Or with, uh, if you do instead of a float or kind of a linear stall, if you instead approach it as, um, as the loop of a cap, it winds up looking like this. Which I actually kind of like this pattern, because it's got a lovely symmetry to it that when viewed in a time-lapse shot, is essentially going to look like a number of anti-spin pedals that expand out in three dimensions, right? 
of the three of these, I'm closest to having the first pattern down. The second one's a bitch, and uh, just not there on that last one. The closest I've got right now is to say, Peace.